Hi everyone, welcome back to the online tutoring classes. Today we will be discussing about unit conversions. Unit conversions are used in everyday things. Examples include kilograms of rice, milliliters of water, centimeters of height, and megabytes of computer storage. Here are a list of the most common metric prefixes that you will use in your unit conversion calculations. There are additional ones for larger and smaller numbers, but these are the main ones you will use in most cases. A good tip for calculation questions is to always try to reach the base unit with no prefix, so you can easily convert to other units. Another tip that you should follow is that when using conversion factors, the one will always be before the prefix, while the exponent will be on the base unit with no prefix. So for example here, there are three examples. Each conversion factor has the exponent on the meters, grams, and grams. These are the ones with no prefix, while the one is always before the ones with a prefix, kilometer, microgram, and megagram. Okay, let's look at some example questions. Example one. Convert the following, 85 meters to kilometers. So referring back to the table, we know that kilo is 10 to the power of 3. Since we are already at the base unit of meters with no prefix, we can multiply 85 by 1 over 10 to the power of 3. As shown here, meters will cancel out, and we reach a final answer of 8.5 times 10 to the negative 2 kilometers. Now example 2, convert 2.0 micrograms to megagrams. So from our tip mentioned earlier, we should try and reach the base unit and then convert accordingly. So from micrograms to grams, we multiply by 10 to the power of negative 6, keeping in mind the exponent tip from earlier to reach our base unit of grams. From there, we will divide by 10 to the power of 6, to convert from grams to megagrams, giving us a final answer of 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 12 megagrams. Okay, let's look at one of the more complicated examples. So here, example three, convert eight megagrams per milliliter to kilograms per liter. In this case, there are two units that need to be converted, the top and the bottom. So let's break it down with this three-step method. First, we can convert the top from megagrams to kilograms. We multiply 8 megagrams by 10 to the power of 6 grams over 1 megagram, canceling out the megagrams. And from there, we divide by 10 to the power of 3 grams to reach our target of 8 times 10 to the power of 3 kilograms. Second, we can convert the bottom from milliliters to liters. We multiply one milliliter by 10 to the power of negative three liters to give us an answer of one times 10 to the power of negative three liters. Now that both are converted, we can simply divide the top by the bottom to achieve our answer. So eight times 10 to the power of three kilograms divided by 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 liters will give us a final answer of 8 times 10 to the power of 6 kilograms per liter. That is everything for today. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any topics you would like us to cover or have any questions. Bye!